Hi everyone, Art Journal Page, and I'm working in this uh, sketchbook. Uh, and this is sketch paper. I just glued two uh, pages together, so I will have a nice surface to work on. And I'm starting the background with chalk pastels. You can use whatever you want. You can use sprays, whatever. I just want a a really quick cover of some with some color. So I'm taking this chalk pastels and as I said just use whatever uh, you feel like most most of it is gonna get covered I just don't want to have this a uh, the color of the page so I'm just doing this quick coverage I'm taking now a folded baby wipe and I'm just going to smear everything and I really don't care where everything is going I'm just smearing it and wherever it goes it goes so instant background I need to flip it it's the sketch uh, paper is taking the moist out of the baby white quite quickly so I needed to fold it to another area that is still moist okay good enough for me now I'm going to let this uh, dry before I continue I'll be back Okay, so instant background, first layer is done. Now I want to add some details that will pick uh, from uh, behind. So I'm going to stamp something and I just picked this handwritten text and I'm going to stamp it. It really doesn't matter. Pick any kind of a uh, stamp you like and it really needs to just stay in the background. I've taken now a fossilized amber a distress ink and let's see just stamping and as you can see it's hardly a uh, noticeable it's just adding interest and visual texture to the background I can even change the stamp and do something else really doesn't matter so stamping it let's just change it to this one and as i said it really doesn't matter as long as i will have some detail in the background most of it is gonna get covered and if i think that this uh, needs to be more noticeable then I will just pick a color that will uh, be darker on this background but I'm uh, I'm leaving it as is maybe I don't know I will leave it as is and I'm going now and I want to start layering my uh, main thing on this page I'm taking uh, this stencil that I made and I want to start uh, stenciling it but I'm going instead of using acrylic paint I want it very uh, soft and subtle and I'm going to continue with distress inks I've picked all kinds I've got crushed olives a uh, forest moss chipped sapphire and seedless preserve and I'm going to uh, use this kind of makeup brush it it makes everything look softer and i'm just going to start with these two colors i'm uh, going for the crushed olive i'm keeping the lighter color towards uh, uh, up of the page <laughs> and i will use the darker color towards uh, the bottom like so and you really don't need a lot of it and it's part of the layering maybe 
I'll do a little bit more here. Really doesn't matter. Even this is gonna get partly covered. This is still part of the background of building an interesting background. Again, I'm using the lighter color here and then going for the darker one here. And I'm just going to continue with this. I really like how soft it is and how it's blending. I think I took <laughs> the darker color here instead of the lighter one. I'm making a mess. Okay, let's do let's be more organized. Okay. I can live with it. It's part of the background. It's not that important. Okay, let's do just a little bit more here. And I want more here. Now, basically, you can take whatever stencil you want and start layering. Just remember, this is part of the background, so don't go all a dark or very intense as long as you are still building uh, the layers. So, finished with these two colors, moving on to these two, and I'm just gonna clean a little bit my brush here, and let's see. Okay, so I'm continuing, and now I just need to uh, decide which color I want at the top and which one I want at the bottom. I'm going to go with the seedless preserve on on top. And maybe just a little bit more. And then I'm going to switch to the chipped sapphire. I'm also letting them blend. And adding just a little bit more. It's not long enough. Okay. Not my usual <laughs> a combination of colors, but that's the whole point. I'm really liking what's going on here. At least what's starting to go <laughs> on here. So I'm going to continue. And once again... Yeah, and now one more here, I think maybe I'll do another one. So I'm going to continue uh, putting more of the same thing and I'll come back. And I'm back. I'm really liking what's going on here. So now I just want uh, to uh, frame my page. I really like the dark. Uh, blue I have here and if you are wondering about how clean this uh, page is I just glued another page here because it was distracting and I want to see what I'm working on I'm taking a soft brush and I'm just gonna go again very soft I don't want hard edges so I'm that's why I'm using a soft brush and I'm going around my page with this dark blue which i really 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 like okay so that's really working out for me and after i'm finished with framing the page going over the edges i'm going to, to do some butterflies and i'm still going to use the distress inks i'm really a uh, wanting some soft look to this page and 
I can achieve it with the distress inks and all kinds of soft brushes or sponges. Almost done. Okay. Starting to look great. Okay, so for the butterflies, I'm going to take a dictionary page. It doesn't have to be dictionary, any book. And if you don't like text in the back, don't use <laughs> a, a, a book page. I just like it. And I think I'm going to go with a spiced marmalade and fossilized ember. The colors mostly that I have in the back, so I'm bringing them back to the front and maybe even the crushed olive i don't know i'm going to play with it and again i'm talking taking a soft makeup brush and i'm thinking of just no nope, not sure i like it let's try using a sponge and again makeup sponge just so I will have all kinds of stains and I'm doing it randomly and then I'm going to use a punch of a with the shape of a butterfly to take out some butterflies out of this page as you can see quite random and let's go and use a little bit of this don't know how much uh, you can see in the video the dis distinction between the colors but they are there maybe i'm Maybe I will spray it because the distress inks are reactive with water and it will give me a little bit more interest uh, to the color. Now I'm also overlapping so the colors mix together better. I don't want again, I don't want harsh lines. Okay so maybe spray it a little bit let's see i think i'm just gonna put some water here and take a fan brush so i won't make a mess okay so i've got water on a fan brush i know you can hardly see it i'm still spraying here and let's see maybe with this it will remove part nah did not work so well okay i'm gonna be trying it a little bit differently let's see And paper towel okay I can see a little bit maybe I'm not uh, giving it enough time but I can live with it I'm just gonna use it as is so I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I'm going to use uh, this sponge so I'll be back Okay, so I'm back and this is dry. I'm just flipping the uh, punch so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna take some butterflies one. And no, not enough coverage here. Let's move on. I'm thinking like 
five butterflies. We'll see. Okay, so I'm making a mess as usual. And so I'm going to do a uh, three more. And uh, now I want to, uh, I don't know, grunge it up a little bit more. And so they will be more noticeable on the page. I'm taking a black uh, <laughs> ink pad and I'm just going around the edges when you've got anything with all these uh, curves and you can't get, get in either uh, fold it like this or take a q-tip and just go where you can't with the ink pad like this I always have q-tips here so I can take this and go in like so so now I just need five of these butterflies and then I'm gonna place them on my page I'll be back Okay, so I've got my butterflies and I don't know if you can see, but I had a little bit of a stain of black here, but then I figured I really like it. So what I'm going to do now is I have black acrylic paint here and a fan brush and I'm going to splatter all over my butterflies. So it turned out great that I had this. <laughs> mistake or oopsie or whatever i'm just going to put a little bit of splatter on my butterflies and i think it will make them a little bit more interesting okay got it now i need to let this uh, dry before i glue it to my page so again <laughs> i'll be back Okay, I'm back. I'm finished with the butterflies. I have adhered them to the page with just a glue stick because it's just a page out of a dictionary. And I'm really liking what's going on here. I just want them to be a little bit more distinct. I've got a lot of going on here in the background. So I'm just going to take some permanent black marker and I think I'll just do a line underneath each butterfly something like that i'm just going around almost like a, giving it a little bit of a shadow but i'm just want them to be more noticeable So, okay, seems to take shape. So, this is probably <laughs> the end of this page which i really really like and as i said not my usual combination of colors but it's nice to try new things yeah okay i'm really liking it and I'm calling it done. <laughs> That's it. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.